Welcome back guys to another video. Today I'm here with the Panoy Floyd and we are gonna be trying some awesome local street food here in Halinan. Yeah, I heard you were the food expert. I trust you. I know you know this area and I'm excited to get into all this delicious goodness. Here you have the most authentic street food and the most tasty street food in my opinion in all of Manila, but I could be wrong. You okay. also are an expert at Filipino food, I'm sure. As well. I would say so. I've eaten enough of it. And like I said, I'm looking forward to everything. I heard that you had a video that blew up a couple of years ago in this area. So it's crazy to have this full circle moment where you're coming back and making some yeah. more content. It is nice. This whole area is just filled with all these amazing gems. I really want to get to a lot of places today to show you. So you better be hungry. Well, hey, I've been fasting all day, all night. I'm ready to eat. Let's do it. This is the place, Aling So Sing. They've been open for a very, hey, hello, my friend. Hey. How are you? So yeah, this place has been making killer dishes for a long, long time. Normally they're cooking out on the street, but I think they're not doing that right now. I want to see what they got going on though. Maybe they're cooking in their kitchen. Hey, hello, how are hey. you? I love it how they call us right. Joe. Hi. Hello. Uh, oh, uh, no, thank you. In Depot. One expert tip I have, you got to get here before 11. Otherwise, you might be waiting for a seat. That is like a big necessity is get here early because this place, Aling So Sing, people can be waiting in line for a while, oh, like wow. if it's really lunchtime. So yeah, this is honestly one of my favorite places here. Hello, how are you guys? Whoa, it's changed a lot. They've opened up their whole kitchen right here. They used to have a very narrow kitchen. Busu Nansagi, one order. Masarap number one. One chicken liver. Also the shrimp as well. Pork adobo. Ah, I think we have to try the pork adobo, right? Yeah. Oh, beef cabaretta. Also one squid. Yeah, one. And pork adobo. Pork adobo then. And then this one. Pak bed. Pak bed. Pak bed. Pak bed. Pak bed. And what's this one here? Uh, bobis. Oh. oh, bobis. We have to get the bobis. Yes. One bobis. I love this place because they give you like little servings. It's kind of like little tapas. And it's a little bit more pricey than like a normal Filipino street food stall, but it's very worth it, honestly. Gotcha. How long have you been working at Aling So Sing? Two to three years. What's your favorite dish here at Aling So Sing? Milaga. Where's the melaga? Is it? Oh, that's the melaga. That's your favorite dish. Okay, maybe we gotta get a melaga too. Wow. Thank you so much. What is a calendaria? Okay, so a calendaria is basically where they have all the food laid out and sometimes they have it all covered. Some places that are very, very busy though, like this one, they don't actually cover it. They leave it all open because everything gets sold. Everything is just rotating through okay. their inventory. Nothing is left over at a place like this. Gotcha. There's some calendarias that will actually reuse the stuff from the day before and the day after that. And, and those ones will be the ones that also cover their stuff up. Right. They're trying to be careful, but it's better to eat it that day. So this is a place where you can get a nice mix and match of different foods. I mean. You've got some favorites, you have some stuff that you might have not seen or tried before, but it's definitely a great place if you wanna experiment, get a little wild, try some stuff that you know of, and then try some stuff that you're a little bit unfamiliar with. And I love the ambiance. You got dogs barking at each other. You've got cats running around trying to mooch off food. It's a dog choir right here. It's yeah. literally like uh, old McDonald had a farm. And Miss Aling Sosing had a calendaria and yeah. adopted a bunch of dogs. And that's that's what we got. And I mean, your local calendaria is your local food spot. I mean, I'm seeing some university students. I'm seeing some Lola, some Pitas, some older folks, some younger folks. I mean, you've got a good mix match of everything in between. So this is definitely that go-to spot in yeah. the neighborhood to get some of your favorite local cuisine, your local foods, and just a nice quick spot to eat. Which one should we dig into first? Uh, we can start with the bow piece. I like to eat it without the rice sometimes just to test the food just as it is. This has me really intrigued. This is that authentic nitty gritty. I mean, they're out here cooking it right here, right now. This is organs, right? Like what, what part of it? It's yes. like liver or it's like uh, kidneys? You know what? It got to the point where I just decided I wouldn't ask. <laughs> yeah. But they cover it up really nicely with all yeah. the sauces. It's like super sauced up. So exactly. I think that if anyone's going to make a good bow piece, it's going to be Aling So Sing. Let's right. try it. How do you say one, two, three? I know enough to the garlic, but I don't know that one. None of the numbers. Yeah, I don't know either. Okay, one, two, three, let's go. All right. Mmm. So what I like, mm. you have that sour, vinegary taste. The Philippines is known for its use of soy sauce, its use of vinegar. They have tons of different vinegar. Honestly, 
You could tell me this was shoe leather. I would still eat it. It's that good, like that flavor yeah. is punching through. You really taste that, like the awful kind of flavor of those organs, yeah. but also it's, like you said, sour. It's got a little bit of savoriness. It's a yeah. little spicy. It's got some heat. I think there's some ginger cooked in here as well. Yeah. And a little bit of chili, and there's some kind of lemongrass. Could cut be. up in there too. So adobo is a classic Filipino dish. It's like the number one dish in the Philippines. If you've heard about Filipino cuisine and you haven't heard of adobo, you must be living under a rock. You can either get it chicken style, chicken adobo or pork adobo. But I've seen some people do fish adobo as well. You can ask like 10 Filipinos, probably five or six of them will say adobo is their favorite dish. Yeah. But not all adobo is the same. Like you go to one place, yeah. their grandma's cooking, that is the best adobo. Exactly. Or go to someone's house, everyone will say adobo is their favorite because that is their home cooked goodness right. kind of food, cuisine. It's a staple dish and you can have it so many different ways. There's adobo that has more sabao, which is soup. It's, you know, got this liquid right here or gravy, which is really great on the right. Or there's also dry adobo, which is also fantastic. So are we having kind of the dry meets liquidy adobo? No, so this is actually the adobo with the sabao. So it's got more of this gravy right uh, here, which is really, really great on rice. I believe this is pork adobo, which is my favorite adobo. Let's dig in. Cheers. Kain tayo. Oh, 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 just as good as my dad's baby back ribs that he cooks at home. Mm -hmm. With a very sugary brown mm. sugar sauce that he cooks down for many, many hours, it seems like. Okay, you gotta get some of the sabao. Put that over your rice. You gotta throw this this sauce. It's called sabao? Yeah, sabao. It means soup. That is a very saucy sauce right there. Mm. I mean, they're basically boiling the sugar down to a liquid yeah. with some water possibly, and it's just Maybe a, a little bit of vinegar too. Yes, yes. It's like a super home-cooked yeah. barbecue sauce that they're using. I mean, this is, this is a 10 out of 10 adobo. I don't know oh, how yeah. you feel. What do you think about this adobo? You've had more adobo than me, so like, yeah. I really don't know. It's fantastic, so I also make adobo. My girlfriend makes adobo. I've had like adobo 50, 11 million times. This is up there. This is definitely top five. Definitely top definitely five top adobos five. you've ever had. Yes. Better than your girlfriend? Oh wait, don't answer that. <laughs> You're gonna be in trouble. Right? That's a lot of sugar in that adobo though. That's, that's oh, not yeah. a healthy adobo that the doctor would tell you to have. Definitely not. This right here is malaga? Malaga. Malaga. Beef. Oh, soup beef, okay. I find that the beef in Southeast Asia in general is very, very rough to chew. Like, they really specialize in pork, but beef yeah. is like a little bit more tough of a meat, especially in Thailand. Yeah, this definitely looks like a thicker, more chewier piece of uh, beef. But yeah, almost like a piece of rubber. Yeah, but I think the flavor is going to be there. Mm. I'm wrong. It's a very soft piece of meat. It's been tenderized. Okay, my piece, not so much. So if I had to guess, this could be, dang, this is so familiar. This could be a pot roast in your home. Like your mom cooking a pot roast inside the house. You know, it's a Saturday. Your mom has nothing to cook, has a roast, throws it in, cooks it for six or seven hours. Voila, you got your pot roast. My mom would make a beef stew and she would put these beef chunks in the stew. And I would always complain to her like, hey, this is not tender enough. You should let this go a little bit more. I'm experiencing the same thing. Like this broth is pretty tasty. I like the veggies in the dish. I mean, the beef could be a little bit more tender, but the flavor's definitely there. I feel like I got the really good piece and you yeah. got the not that good piece. Yeah, because that piece does look a lot more tender. This is like a, almost like a ribeye kind of tenderness. Oh wow. Like, it's really marbly too. So this is the chicken liver right here. Oh boy. You should try it. Like this I is will. really, really good. I'm not a big fan of liver. I'm gonna get like the tiniest spoonful because for me, liver does have like a, you know, a bit of a gamey taste to it. I think that you're gonna like this. It's a very creamy chicken liver. So think about it as like a creamy, like a Philadelphia cream cheese. I hate Philadelphia cream cheese. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe don't think about that. Maybe think of like a nice duck pate. I'm not gonna ignore it. I'm getting into it. We're gonna go through it. Eye of the storm. This is chicken liver. First time trying it in the Philippines. So let's go. Okay. Are you digging it? It's smooth. Not bad. It's like a cream cheese. Do you, do you see the cream cheese and chicken liver? The way they cook it, all those sauces, just take away that livery gaminess. Yeah. Kind of a funky cream cheese flavor. 
But you don't like Philadelphia or you don't like cream cheese in general? I'm not the biggest fan of cream cheese. And I'm getting a slight aftertaste, but it's not overwhelming. So I've had liver before. I mean, liver and onions is a very wow. popular American dish. I've hated it ever since I was a kid. This. It's not half bad. However, I would prefer the Bopies. And the Bopies also has mixed parts, mixed animal parts. And I mean, honestly, I'm going in for a little bit more of this. I mean, you're digging the Bopies, I'm yeah. digging the liver. So we're great as a tag team. This liver is probably the best chicken liver I've ever had. I've thought about this for five years, coming back here and trying oh, wow. this again. And it's the same quality. The only thing that could be even better is maybe if it was served hot, like it would be even better. But this is absolutely amazing. Mm. So we've made it through one, two, three, four. We still have another four to go. Yeah, we have a lot to go. I mean, this was a feast. This yeah. is only the first stop, but this is definitely a highlight stop. Don't forget, they give you these calamansi. Oh yeah. They give you the chili. Do you want to try the chili with me? Yeah, sure. Are you are you into spicy food? You know, I am just a little bit. I mean, I usually break this down and put a little bit of soy sauce in there, but. We can go ahead and try a little bit of this. So the funny thing about this chili is you never know in the Philippines if it's going to be extremely spice or if it's going to be a little bit spice. You know, my grandfather used to be a chili farmer. He used to grow chilies. The redder the chili, the more vibrant the color. Let's see. The spicier. Cheers. All right, cheers. I'm only going to take a small bite. Mine's not spicy yet, but I can feel it coming Mine out. is extremely spicy. No rice, no life, no spice. Also no life. The dog is hurting the cat. Oh wow. Oh no. Mama cat, you need to give the dog a check. Okay guys, so next up we've got the Bungsung Nan Sagi, the banana heart. Honestly, this is one of my favorite dishes here in the Philippines. It's amazing. Very creamy, very fresh, coconutty goodness. It's amazing. I think we need another beer. Yeah. Balawang uh, beer, please. Goodbye. We get the party started with a little bit of beer. Oh, thank you. Saging means banana. This one, this is kind of like the chicken liver for me. I'm not too excited. Really? I'm looking at it. That I'm look. I look skeptical. <laughs> I don't want to take too big of a piece. Actually, you're gonna like it. I think. Think of it as like a nice creamy tuna salad. You're literally naming all of the stuff that I despise. <laughs> oh no. I can't stand cream cheese. I can't stand tuna sandwiches. So this is your first time to try Busu Nantagi? Yes, and I'm not the biggest fan of banana, so... Oh, it doesn't taste like banana, trust me. It's okay. more like a heart of palm. Okay, so like what, can you explain to me what exactly is the heart of palm? Where's the banana in this? I see there's yeah. a little cream, I mean... So this is the actual like heart of the banana. So the banana has got these like husks or like flowers oh, almost. Okay. And then uh, they take that and they chop it up into little pieces. Wow. And so basically it's just like one of their signature dishes here. Wow. Well, like one of my good friends said, don't think, just eat. This is not bad at all. It's like a mozzarella cheese that's like shredded, like like shriveled up mm -hmm. with a little bit of coconut or like, yeah, heart of palm. They say like heart of palm is similar to mozzarella cheese. All right. So like, just got that texture, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like a um, chewy, little bit of snappy crunchiness. Yeah. Whatever this little concoction is on here, it's nice, it's creamy. I love it. And I'm a big texture person, but there's not too much snap right there, so this is perfect for me. I think that this is a 10 out of 10 dish. I have never had a bad bunun sa nan sagi, bunun sa nan sagi, whatever, however you say it, I've never had a bad one. And of course, you gotta add the calamansi to your food. You gotta squeeze it on, you know. Yeah. Squeeze it on your rice or squeeze it on something. I mean, you can honestly put that on anything. As long as you have a little calamansi, little chili, maybe even a little soy sauce. You've got a nice combination right there that does not miss. I mean, I put that, hey, in beer. even in the beer. I think it's a good idea. Yeah. Throw some calamansi in your beer. Yeah. It's uh, gonna make things a little bit more tropical, more fresh. And I mean, lime is great, but the one thing I love about calamansi is that you have this nice, super, super tartness that comes with it. Yeah. Super, super tart. It goes really well. It pairs very well with chili and soy sauce. So if you really want a crazy dipping sauce that's 10 out of 10, knocks it out of the park every time, I would definitely recommend calamansi juice, soy sauce, and a little bit of chili. All my Filipinos will know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. If you know, you know. 
Oh, so good. That takes that San Miguel to a whole nother level. This is very special. The shrimp. Yeah. This is an amazing, amazing dish for real. Well, let's get after it. I think this is morning glory here. And there's like a kind of a coconut creamy soup. Okay, nice. Is this more on the sweet side or the sour side or the vinegary side? I mean, what are we, what are we talking? I think it's more coconutty, creamy, okay. savoriness side. Like you taste the coconut yeah. with the shrimp. And um, yeah, it's just absolutely one of my favorite dishes here at Aling So Sing. And then the head has also got the juices. I eat the whole shrimp, including the head, oh, wow. the tail, every part. Let's get into it. Oh my gosh, that is so creamy. It's a boring wow. dish, but it's so good. It's like not exciting in a way, but like it's shrimpy, it's coconutty, yeah. and it's got the, the taste of the greens. That's interesting. So I wasn't expecting that flavor. It's a little more on the tamer side, mm. which is interesting for the Philippines because I mean, the Philippines is known for these bright, bold flavors of, you know, that punchy vinegar or that sour soy sauce or you know that pop from the calamansi or chili or garlic i've never heard the phrase morning glory but just looking at the layout looking at how this vegetable looks it reminds me of collard greens you know back in the south so i would say it's probably a cousin definitely a cousin to to collard greens for sure okay guys so this is absolutely amazing we've got the juice that's deep inside here oh my gosh the oh, wow. juice just came out okay i'm gonna get the ship the juice like this Oh my gosh, and then the brain of the shrimp, that crunch. The brain is the best part, honestly. Mm. That's so good. I think it's really funny how you take off all the, the shrimp skin. Yeah. I personally, I love the shrimp skin. It has a nice crunch. It's got some flavor to it. That's very American of you, right? Like, yeah, I feel like all Americans do that. Some do, but some don't. So I've been in different parts of the South. I'm originally from New Orleans and even in New Orleans, there are people who will just eat the whole shrimp whole. I mean, we're talking head, tail, everything. I mean, you know, some people do it, some people don't. I clearly don't. I'm gonna peel my shrimp no matter if I'm in the Philippines, America, Spain, Portugal. If there's shrimp, I'm gonna peel it. But hey, I can understand how that adds a different layer of flavor. It adds a different texture. There's a crunchy element to it. And I'm pretty sure it's pretty tasty. We still have that squid. That squid looks super intimidating. I mean, this is a chunky boy. I mean, look at this. I'm not even a big fan of squid normally. It just looks so good. It does. It's very I'm, Filipino. Yes, and I love that it's grilled. So great presentation. Really, really great. There's, it's stuffed with some veggies, which I'm excited about. So I'm looking forward to digging in on this one. Do you like the tentacle side or do you like the non-tentacle side? Like the I brain? like the, the non-tentacle. Well, it's really the midsection. I really like the midsection. That's usually my go-to. Let's, let's try to go for the midsection then. Yeah. Let's try okay. to get it off. Yeah, let me break it off it with a spoon. Ah. Oh, nice. You're a professional. Oh, yeah. You spend enough time in the Philippines, you learn how to really work a spoon and a fork. Yeah, they don't really do knives that much here for some reason. They don't. And, you know, I'm not opposed to it. All right, so this is squid stuffed with some veggies. This has been grilled. It has a nice color, nice char to it. Yeah. Uh, so let's dig in. Yeah, let's see what this is like. A lot of garlic and onions and tomato. I'm tasting vinegar. I'm tasting squid. It's like a calamari party. Yeah. Mm. This might be like the thickest squid I've tried. I mean, I usually get calamaras, which is fried squid, but I've never had grilled. Yeah. It's very creamy. It's very tomato based, like acidic from the tomato. But it's got a little bit of onions. I'm like not always a big fan of squid. Yeah. And this is my first time to try it in the Philippines. It's not bad grilled, but honestly, I've had fried squid so many times. You cannot go wrong, especially like with the little dipping sauces. I mean, who knows? Maybe we can get into that a little bit later. Maybe find some stall, try some fried calamars because they have to have it somewhere around here. So I guess we only have one thing left. Yes, this dish right here. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of veggies, so I'm going super, super light on this. This looks like we have a little bit of pumpkin, a little bit of okra. And I don't know if you guys can see it, but I've completely demolished my rice. Bert, you're still working on your rice, bro. What's, what's going on? Rice is life in the Philippines. But sorry, rice also means a belly for Uncle Bert, you know? <laughs> Uncle Bert doesn't really want a belly. Yeah. He wants to uh, look fit for the summertime here in the Philippines. 
everyone's gonna be like, whoa, you put on so much weight in the comment section. I really don't like seeing that in the comment section. Oh, so yeah. I'm gonna be not eating my rice, guys. I'm also about eating all the amazing food here in the Philippines yeah. with a little bit of rice. No, rice moderation is like definitely goes a long way. I mean, <laughs> I definitely wanna pace myself, but honestly, it's so difficult to do that when it's, you have the rice, you have the sabao, you have all of these delicious foods to just, you know, eat with the rice. I mean, it's a great vehicle. Yeah. Yeah, because a lot of the dishes in the Philippines are made to go with rice. Like, if you're not eating with the rice, like, they're not supposed to be that salty. You have to right. have the rice with that dish. Yeah. Like, the adobo must go with rice. Yeah. And I did with rice. But, yeah, other things, I get it in the comment section oh, every yeah. day. Like, you're wasting your rice. I'm like, guys, I don't want to waste the other food. Okay, so let's try this out. Okay, so, cheers. Cheers. Panak ben, I think is what Panak it's called. Bet. Something like that, yeah. yeah. Do you know what that means? I don't know what it means, but uh, I've heard it before, and I've seen it before, and I mean, here we are. Not the biggest fan of veggies, but let's do it. Let's go. Gotta eat your veggies, your grandma said. Okay. Oh, there's a Grandma boat. might be right this time. I'm a big texture guy. Veggies are super tender. That pumpkin, super tender. Really nice, savory flavor. Oh yeah. I'm digging this. There's actually a, a piece of chicken in here. Yeah. A bit on the bone. Mmm. I mean. So this time I got the tinder piece. There's bitter melon in here. I love bitter melon. In the Philippines, they cook bitter melon so well. And so like, yeah, that bitter melon with the eggplant, with the green beans. Yeah. I mean, this is just an amazing dish. And then they cook it down with like chicken with the bones. I believe the bones also add flavor to the overall dish too. Exactly. But just watch out for your teeth. Don't get too excited. Don't chomp down on it too hard. I'm always very, very careful in the Philippines. Calabasa is like my favorite thing in the Philippines. Ah, so you know some Filipino. Mm, yeah, a little okay. bit. Marunong ako mastagalag. Mm. Just a little bit. Conti. <laughs> Mostly about the food, all the dishes. <laughs> right? Are you a fan of Binigo An? So I've heard of the dish, but ah, I haven't had it yet. You've never tried it. Okay, never maybe today it. you'll have to try it. Yeah. So basically it's pork blood. It's not my favorite dish either. Yeah. Some people love it, some yeah. people dislike it. So what is your favorite dish today out of all these dishes? Oh wow. Honestly, I gotta give it up to the bulpis. Ah, you just love this the bulpis. This bulpis, super, super tangy, sweet. You got a little bit of that lime. I taste a little bit of vinegar and soy sauce. It was really, really good. No gaminess whatsoever. I know there's mixed meat parts. There's probably a little bit of lung, maybe a little heart or, you know, something else. But hey, this was fantastic, especially over the rice. You cannot go wrong. 10 out of 10. We'll try again. There's so many good layers of flavor to all these dishes. Absolutely. But yeah, if, if I had to only choose one and eat it for the rest of my life, it would be the shrimp morning glory all the way. I don't even think this is going to cost that much. I mean, what do you think on the price? I think it's going to be for all these dishes. This is a lot. This is like more than what we would normally order yeah. on a normal day. We would normally get out of here each for like $4, $5 each, maybe $6 or $7. Yeah. I think this will be maybe $16 and then add another $2 or $3 from the beer because we got a lot. Maybe this will be total $20, but okay. this is a lot of food. Like, this is not normal. Right, but I mean, for 1,200 pesos, that's not bad. If you're like super, super hungry, maybe you got a friend. I mean, this was enough food to feed at least, you know, two more people. This would be a 70, 80, $100 meal in America for two of us to sit down and have this many different things. This squid alone would be $10, $12 at least. Uh, Hello. Excuse me, Paul. Can I check? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, thank you. So in the Philippines, how do you say check? Like, what's the main, main way you yeah, say check? Yeah, so I don't remember the exact word, but there's, a, if you do this, they know exactly what you mean. Like, this is a universal sign for check. 11, 30. Uh, Dude, pesos. that is really, really affordable. Yeah. Like, it's an amazing deal. Yeah. Honestly, like. I mean, for this much food, this was a full on spread. I mean, this was like an eight course meal. What's your favorite food in Alex Jose? My favorite is Ah, uh, Diempo, the best. Diempo. Uh, ah. Are you a are you a firefighter? No, I'm a police officer. Uh, we're very safe eating here in Aling So Sing. Yeah. Thank you very much. <laughs> Sir, Diempo is the best here. Ah. Uh, uh, what's second best? Number two. Ah. Uh, 
then eh, ano ah, yempo more yempo pa rin <laughs> yempo sir is it okay to ask you a question uh, do you like Aling Sosing? I'm the owner. You're the owner? Oh, you before. are? Before. Oh, before you're the owner. What's your favorite dish at Aling Sosing? Uh, adobo. Adobo, oh wow. Uh, I think Aling Sosing is a very, very Montserrat place. How does it feel to have the best number one calendaria in definitely Makati and maybe all of Manila? Uh, How do you feel? Feeling uh, lucky. Feeling lucky? Yeah. But yeah, your food is very, very good. Does anyone else say that this is number one Karandiria? Yeah, it's Many, uh, all over the world. All over the world, they say. Many people have come here. Yeah. Mark Wayne's. Mark Wayne's. Uh, You've had uh, uh, many other people coming here. So what's your secret to making really amazing I Filipino love, I food? I love the customer and give him a good, give him a, give, give their good service. What city are you from in the Philippines? Are you from Makati? No, I grew up here. Oh, you grew up here, yeah. okay. So you're from Makati, you're from Palinan. Palinan. And so you've been serving here for 30 years. Almost 45 years. 45 years? Oh, sir, you're very, you, you look very young. I'm only 48. You're 48. You've been serving up food since you were like five years old. Yeah, yeah. So how did you start when you first started making food? How did you first start? Uh, it's my mom and dad. Oh, okay, so it was your mom and dad's calendaria. Yeah. And, and I take care of it because they they die. Oh, okay. Your mom and dad passed away. Yeah. And then you took on the carandiria and you keep on serving amazing food. Did they teach you all the recipes? They teach you. They teach you. And uh, what's your number one food, your number one secret food here? Adobo, caldereta, diluguan, kare so many others. Yeah. So they're the number one seller foods and secret items. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do, do they also run a tire shop here too? No, Are you... no, it's a separate. A separate, okay. Do the tire shop people also eat at the Garandiria? They buy some sometimes. People come from all over the Philippines to try this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and all over the world. This is really very good. I really like the Garandiria. Keep up the great work, sir. Thank you, thank you. What's your name? Ronald. Ronald. Thank you, Ronald. I will be back again. Okay, thank you. It's very Maserati. What do you eat? Uh, today I ate eight or nine dishes. Really? Yeah, I ate many dishes. They're right there. Anyway, sir, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank you, Ronald. Thank you, thank you. What's your favorite food here? Your favorite, number one favorite food? Number one favorite? Yeah. Uh, niempo. Niempo, ah. Sailor, yeah. Ah, niempo. I also like the niempo too. But I also love your laying. Laying, love, laying. Yeah, your laying is very good. Very Maserat. Your favorite dish here in Aling Sosing? The Liempo. What? The Liempo. The Liempo is the yeah. grilled? Yeah, the grilled Liempo. Uh, the grilled pork. Yeah. Why no cooking on the street? Before you guys cook on the street, here. Cook here and here. Before have cooking everywhere. No, uh, no. No. No more cooking on the street? No more. Oh, because government? Yes, it's property. Uh, government property. Uh, government property. So no more cooking on the street? No more. Well, it's very Maserat. I know that you guys changed the kitchen. The kitchen's different now. Yes, yeah, different. Kitchen different. inside. The kitchen. Bigger kitchen than before. Yes, bigger. Yeah. Very big. Very big now, yeah. Yes. Food's good, real and delicious, bro. Uh, it's uh, quite very nice. What's your favorite dish here? Uh, okay guys, absolutely amazing. Thank you thank you so much, Chef. Very Maserat food. Thank you. Very, very good to meet you. I love your food here. I'm coming back to Aling So Sing. Aling So Sing number one. What's your favorite dish in Aling So Sing? Oh, and what's your favorite dish in Aling So Sing? The barbecue. And sir, what's your favorite dish in Aling So Sing? Uh, what's your favorite dish in Aling So Sing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what's your favorite dish? Number one dish. Ah, banana heart. Everyone is so friendly here at this Garandiria. Oh, oh. Got to watch your head coming out of the Aling So Sing. So, yeah, everyone is super friendly, super kind. Oh man, what an experience. I'm so full from that. But we that's just the stop number one. Yeah. This we got is... many stops to go. Oh wow. <laughs> Good thing I fasted. 
Good thing we're walking. I mean, we're gonna burn some calories. We're gonna sweat it out. 45 year operation. I mean, that place is legendary. So yeah, I'm pretty full from that, but no, we're gonna keep going strong. I don't know if y'all can see it, but we're sweating through our shirts. We probably lost almost all of the body fat that we gained uh, at the at the first place, so. I would think so. We've would... been walking, we've been getting our steps in. I think we've burned enough calories to head to the second place.